What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Um, I don't know if you guys have just some questions. You know, when you are the Dallas Cowboys, you don't have any room for, you know, uh, there's no room for error that generally speaking, they're always looking for something uh, with the Cowboys to say, yeah, there they go. There's the Dallas Cowboys. I'm trying to understand here still with the Michael Irvin situation that Michael Irvin, it, it just doesn't, it, it, it just seems like this is so reactionary a little bit too fast that all we've heard is Michael Irving pulled from the coverage at the Super Bowl for an incident that took place in the lobby where there is video. But yet, what transpired? What transpired that he has literally been pulled from his job that happened in public? From what we've heard, there's nothing physical in there. Um, that he admit that, you know, I'm coming back from the hotel, you know, the hotel after we taped some stuff and, um, you know, had a few to drink. There was nothing physical. So what did, what, what, what transpired? Th this is Michael Irving in his own words about the incident that his discussion on the fan yesterday. There's a lot going on. Here. There's a lot going on. I don't know whether you guys heard it or not, but I, I wanted to do the show just to share with you. You know, I don't know if you that you guys haven't heard that that Sunday night when I went out and came in Sunday night, and this is tripping me out because you know I went out with Michael Brooks, came in, we had uh, and I don't remember it, it but but I, I guess when I came in, they said because they, they asked, I said, "What'd you do?" I said, "I went straight to the room." But I guess I had met somebody in the lobby, talked to, talked to somebody in the lobby for about a minute. And then I went to my room, and then after I got off air and got to work, they said, uh, come on, we're going to move you in a hotel. I said, what? Move you in a hotel for what? So they moved my hotel, and then I said, what's going on, guys? What's going on? What's happening? Why would we move a hotel? And they said, well, that, that, the last night you walked in, you talked to somebody. I said, I didn't talk to anybody. I went straight to the room. And, and then they showed it on camera that I did talk to somebody. I talked to his girl for about a minute. I don't, I don't know what – they didn't show it to me. They told me, and I didn't see it. I don't, I don't know what she looked like or anything. But that's why they moved me. That's why they moved me because I guess the girl said I said something to her within that minute that, that we talked, and, you know, so they moved me. So I, I, I thought you guys would have heard about it. That's why I wanted to come on and talk to you guys about it. But – but, yeah, I, I, I don't know what's the plan for the rest of the week. We could, that's why I said I'm kind of in hiding until we figure all of that out. No. We have not, no idea. No headline, no yeah. news story. Yeah, well, you, you, well, I'm giving it to you. You should be hearing it or you should know about it because that, that's exactly what's happening. And that's why I'm saying I'm just kind of hiding and waiting to see how it comes, how everything comes down. And, you know, you know you're in this, this yeah. world here. It was a 45-minute a meeting somewhere in the lobby. In the lobby, I don't even remember it really because I had a few drinks to tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, I had a few drinks to tell you the truth. I don't really remember it, but, but that's what they said. So they said there's a video. They didn't show it to him or anything like that. He seems to be dumbfounded on what happened. Um, what I would say is, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say on this because, you know, if there's something out there, this is where I wonder because it seems like if there was something bigger to this, if there was, you know, evidence of him doing something, believe me, that somebody would be out there putting it out there to try and get paid. So I, I don't understand what it is and why we haven't heard a reason. We haven't heard anything from the NFL Network to say, we're suspending Michael Irving for blah, 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 blah. There's nothing thus far here. And we still are going through with the questions of why. 
Now, we know, let's just be clear here. You know, we know Mike Irvin used to party back in the day. We've seen, you know, the stuff from back then, you know, when he was a player and everything else. Um, so what is the misconduct that he did in the lobby? I mean, this isn't like uh, Antonio Brown. I mean, you know, Antonio Brown in the pool up in, Euro- in, in, in uh, not Europe, in, uh, damn, you know, uh you know, Saudi Arabia country, but where he's in the pool, pulling his pants down and, you know, doing all, I mean, okay. You know, I, you can understand if there was something like that, there was no swimming pool. There's, you know, no, you know, the, the, every time Antonio Brown does something, there's always a video out there of this to let you know, where's the tape. You know, if you are taking the man out of his job, Okay. Then what? What's really going on here? He spoke, of course. Um, he, did, you know, Michael Irvin says I don't remember. You know what? I, you know, I had a couple of drinks and went through the lobby, and you know, talked to somebody for a few seconds, and that's it. Honestly, I'm a bit baffled with all of it. Irvin said this all happened in a 45 second conversation in the lobby when i got back out i came to the lobby i talked to somebody i talked to this girl i don't know her i talked to her for about 45 seconds so if you had michael irvin scheduled to be part of your super bowl coverage your super bowl team you would see, and, and now all of a sudden you're pulling him through here, especially a high profile individual. It seems like, you know, uh, you know, ESPN and NFL Network both have pulled him. That there needs to be some kind of an explanation, because you know we've heard, you know, when other people have gotten in trouble, there's you know a reason. Well, because of you know whatever. So what is this incident? That, that this quickly, this quickly, that immediately from Sunday to Monday to Tuesday, boom, we're pulling you. You're done. Uh, it just seems like it's a little too quickly here, and this is where you kind of have um, kind of some questions on here. I, I, I just something doesn't seem quite right here. And I would love to find out how it is that this happened this quickly when you see other things that have happened with people where, you know, they get second chances, other opportunities, they get explanations, they at least get their day in court. But NFL Network and ESPN apparently are the judge jury and executioner so i don't know i don't know i'd like to know more on this one you know to see if this is actually justified or not good boy all right good people i'm gonna go up here and get ready to cook something good for dinner um we've been working on or keto or not keto but we're actually working on trying to eat better and find to make some better choices and stuff and um so far so good i've actually been fasting for the last 17 hours and i'm gonna go fix me something good to eat peace